Well, tonight a heated debate at the Bronx Community Board 10 meeting as the board there voted on the Throgs Neck upzoning project. The proposal includes developing four sites along Bruckner Boulevard, including a grocery store and affordable housing. Now, New Swell's Faith Graham was there. She joins us right now. Faith, this was a very heated meeting at times, but what did the board decide? Well, Kurt, after a nearly 90 minute debate, the board ultimately voted against the project, but that vote did not come easily. This room was full of nearly 200 people, all of them going back and forth. The meeting itself was almost shut down several times as people were speaking over each other, trying to get their point across. You can see a huge crowd filling the room here at the Greek Orthodox Church on Bruckner Boulevard. All of them sharing their thoughts on the project that consists of four commercial and residential buildings proposed for Bruckner Boulevard, including a grocery store. Some of the buildings reaching eight stories high. Councilmember Marjorie Velasquez could not be here tonight, but she says she does not support the project. Most of the residents who spoke also against the project, saying it will bring congestion and that the neighborhood does not have the infrastructure to support an influx of people moving to the area. Common concerns also included whether or not the schools and first responders could handle an influx as well. They also say they want to keep the current feel of their community. I live in America. I have the right to have a one or two family house. And these people who basically came from out of state who are billionaires living in mansions are telling me that I can't have my one or two family house. I can't have my picket fence. On the other hand, the developers say the project offers many benefits. They say it includes the potential for recreational centers, retail stores, early childhood education centers, and ample parking. They add that the project would help the housing crisis, bringing affordable units to a city that is in need. We're really providing homes for veterans, affordable senior housing, a supermarket's coming back into the area, a recreational center for kids after school, and affordable housing where a person can live here, nurses, doctors, lawyers, policemen. It's just a great project. All right, Faith, but that being said, the board has voted against the project, but what does the future of the site look like now? Well, as for what's next, they will send their letter of disapproval to the city council. Then that decision will lie in their hands as well as the borough president's office. In Pelham Bay, Faith Graham, News 12. All right, Faith, we will see what happens next. Thank you. Well, we want to turn now to some news out of Oklahoma. This is where lawmakers have passed one of the...